She's been doing okay. Thank you for asking. Um, she obviously is going through a lot right now. Yesterday was the viewing uh, of Dave. There was uh, two separate viewing times. We were there for a couple hours each time. Uh, there was people coming in and you know saying their prayers and getting to see him in the casket. Very sad. Um, I, I I'm not good around death, so like I, I don't really. I just feel weird around those situations. Um, but she was surprisingly very strong yesterday. And then today was the funeral and obviously, you know, she broke down crying and I don't blame her. Um, it's just rough right now. I'm just, you know, the, the whole family's here supporting her. And I just want to say from my heart, thank you for everybody as well that has been, um, you know, giving your condolences and your prayers and, and just being here for um, not only, you know, my family, but more importantly, my sister. She needs it the most right now. Truly it does. Like, I don't want to believe it. Obviously, we have to accept it. Um, but it's just such a bizarre situation. Never in a million years would I have thought that this could be the outcome. Obviously, Julian had a lot of issues. He was in the hospital for a very long time. There was always that possibility. And I feel like a lot of the family kind of prepared for, you know, a possibility of that happening. But for Dave to go a couple of days later, it's just so tragic, such a horrible situation. And like I said, we just, we all feel very, very bad for my sister. Two things that I want to address real quick. When Dave first passed, the next day, my sister posted something on her Facebook about the situation and then obviously got an overwhelming amount of people responding. She just felt like it was too much, so she took down the post. Um, I started getting a lot of messages all over social media, people freaking out, people asking me what's going on. People are like, you know, basically bitching at me. They're like, yo, like, how are you posting um, you know, random stuff right now and like not describing the situation or what's going on. Like how, how come you're not telling us anything? And truthfully, it wasn't my place. Like it was not my place to say anything until, you know, Sabrina was truly ready. And then um, <clears throat> within a 24 hour period, she ended up posting, I think like another one or two things and took them down. And then I had a conversation with her and I was like, look, you know, um, obviously you're going through a lot right now. I understand that. The fans are freaking out. Let me know when you let me know when you think it's best that you know um, we say something. Originally, she was going to be in the video. She felt like it was too much. Um, she asked me to be in the video at first, and then she decided to not go through with it. It was just a lot on her, obviously, right? So I was like, "Look, I'm going to make something very short, just kind of you know give you guys an update on what's going on, um, so you have a better understanding." But yeah, it, it truly was not my place to say unless. You know, Sabrina was okay with it, of course. So that's why that situation happened. I was just keeping my mouth shut. The other thing I want to address is yesterday, you know, I posted a picture of Julie and I, um, and people were like, why are you smiling in, a, in a, such a sad situation, like giving me shit? And I'm like, yo, um, you know, yeah, it's, it's a very sad time, but like, if I'm taking a photo with my person, I'm not gonna be like, like sad and like weird. You know, obviously I'm gonna smile. Like it wasn't even like a crazy smile, it was just like a like a half crack smile. Um, I don't know why people care so much, but yeah, even in rough times you gotta stay positive, right? So um I don't I don't know why I even have to address this, it's just odd, but uh whatever. No matter what the situation is, you can't change what has already happened. So all you can do is accept and, and keep moving forward and try and stay positive. So, you know, that's what not only I am doing right now, but my entire family. We just, just got to keep going strong. Yes, my family has been constantly staying at um, her house, you know, making sure that she's not there alone. She doesn't want to leave the house, which, you know, I totally understand. Like, she doesn't want to come to my family's sleepover, which is okay. You know, that's her choice. Um, <clears throat> my parents have been taking turns, you know, sleeping at her house back and forth, like, every night. Um, just got to make sure someone's there with her right now. So this is an odd situation for me because my heart feels so bad for my sister that I don't even take into consideration like my own feelings. Um, obviously, you know, I'm truly upset and like I feel terrible for not only my sister, for Dave's entire family, for, you know, for my family. And um, I feel like I'm feeling more pain for everyone. Uh, but myself right now, which is which is odd. I've never been in that situation. Um, truthfully, there's only been like one other major death in my family, you know, since I've been alive. Um, at least somebody that I was very very close with, and that was my grandpa when I was nine. So it's 
So that hit me really hard, um, you know, at that time. But I don't know. I, I feel like I've been so absorbed on just, you know, feeling for everyone else that I haven't really been feeling for myself. It's, it's, it's such a weird situation. Um, don't get me wrong. There's been plenty of times where it's hit me and I sit there and I break down crying. And, and I just think about like the random moments of Dave and, you know, Sabrina. And I think of the most, don't get me wrong. There's been plenty of times where it's hit me and I sit there and I break down crying. And, and I just think about like the random moments of Dave and, you know, Sabrina. And I think of the most random stuff too. Like I'll just be in my car driving. And I start thinking about Dave and I'm like, Wow, Dave had really good hair. Like, it's like stupid, random thoughts like that. And then I start getting upset. And then I start thinking about like board rides and stuff like that that we'd go on. We'd go on little trips. We went to Disney with Sabrina and Dave. And you guys probably remember I vlogged it. Um, you know, they came out there for a bit and, and stayed with us. It's just, it's a lot. And like, like I said, I don't feel like I'm good with dealing and coping with stuff like this. So, I don't know. It's, it's weird. Now, of course, not everybody knows what's going on in this situation, so um, Mateo, I'm gonna explain that to you real quick, and anybody else that was kind of confused. Um, so, basically, my sister had a baby with her husband, Dave. Uh, his name was Julian. He was in the hospital for about eight months uh, before he passed. He never came home. I never got to meet him, unfor meet him unfortunately. Um, it was just a rough situation. And then uh, only three days later, my sister's husband, Dave, unfortunately passed away from a heart attack. I personally feel as if he just had a broken heart and it was just a lot on him. And um, I just feel really bad. Uh, uh, that's the, the situation. So Julian was cremated and he had a couple of different um, urns with ashes. And one of those went to Dave and he is holding him in his hand in the coffin, so he'll always have a little piece of him forever. I want to answer this without being like too descriptive, um, just out of respect for my sister. Basically, I went next door to let Hazel and Gio play together. I always let them play every day, I like, you know, bring Hazel over. I'm like, Gio, he comes out and he plays. I let them next door. I went back to go talk to my dad. Um, I was talking to him for a bit. I let Gio come back home. And then my dad was like freaking out. He's like, Sabrina um, just called me saying Dave had a heart attack. And that's like all he knew, all he knew. So we rushed over to her house and um, the ambulance was there, uh, you know, a bunch of police officers. And um, I don't feel as if I should say much more than that, but it's just it's just weird rethinking in the situation right now